Hey guys, Advocore Cosplay here with my very first video, and today we're going to be talking about glue. Now, glue is a very key consideration in cosplay and costume making. Sometimes one piece might need more than one kind of glue. It's about using the right glue for the right job, as it is using the right tool for the right job. So, we're going to start with super glue. Now, super glue is very cheap and easy to find. You can often find it at a supermarket or a craft store for about a dollar to a tube. Now it's very limited in what it can do because of its strength. When we're talking about costumes that are pulling or pushing, it can be very limiting in its applications. However, that doesn't mean that it doesn't have quite a lot. I often find that super glue is good for EVA foam of about three millimeters or less. It's often very good for detailing and small pieces that you might want to attach to a gauntlet or a chest piece. And it's also good for greeblies. Fun fact, greeblies are small and operable items that add depth and a sense of functionality to the costume. A good example of greeblies are some wires that you might be have running from a gauntlet up into your chest piece or a circuit board that you might have on your helmet. Now these things might not actually work, but they add a sense of functionality and people think that they look like they could do something if that costume was in the real universe. Back to super glue. Super glue is also useful for PLA plastics. I often use it on my 3D prints. And it's good for attaching some PLA to another piece of PLA. Now like I said, it's very cheap, but it doesn't have a lot of holding power and therefore you wouldn't want to use it on big pieces like your chest pieces or your thigh armor or anything like that. But now we're going to move on to contact cement. Now contact cement is a very big staple in the cosplay community. A lot of armor makers will tell you that contact cement is their glue of choice. It works extremely well on EVA foam because all you'd have to do is spread it on one side and spread it on the other and then you wait about 10 to 15 minutes and then you put them together and they're not coming apart. And there's actually a big saying and it's what sticks together stays together. Because with contact cement, you will destroy your costume piece before you destroy that bond. It does take time to cure and set, and so you will have to set aside a little bit of time to be using it. But the price is not actually all that high. It's often about $10 to $15 for a small tub. And you can find that at a lot of different hardware stores. You will want to make sure that you use a mask and you use it in a well-ventilated area because those fumes are nasty. However, for EVA foam, there's almost no other choice. It has a very high pulling power, and therefore you'd want to use it on your larger pieces like your thigh guards, your shins, your chests, and your arms. And from contact cement, we're going to move right into another staple, and that is hot glue. Now hot glue, like contact cement, is a big staple in the cosplay community. Almost every cosplayer I know will be using it in some capacity. It is good for EVA foam, and that's what a lot of armor makers will be using. However, I would say that I would not use it for anything that has high pull power or push power. So nothing like your chest connections or your thigh connections, because if it gets very hot, especially here in Australia, if it's in the summer, that's gonna peel apart and your costume's gonna fall apart while it's still on you. And that's where contact cement would be a better choice. However, hot glue is better in the similar way to super glue for detailing and greeblies and smaller pieces that won't be moving too much. It's also actually very good for materials like Velcro, magnets, and elastic and attaching those to your armor pieces. Hot glue is very cheap. It's about two to three dollars for a big pack of 50 sticks. However, it can look very ugly if you're not careful with it because as we know, when hot glue dries, it's not the easiest to remove. So those are three of the most common glues that we will be using in the cosplay community. Like I said, it is the right tool for the right job and you will learn through experience what works and what doesn't. And in the case of something breaking on the convention floor, a lot of conventions will have at least two of these options at their repair stations. However, I would recommend keeping a tube of super glue on you just for emergencies in case they don't have what you need. And of course, there are other options for glue in special situations, and I want to hear what you guys use. So please, leave a comment below, click the subscribe button, join me on my Patreon and Facebook, and until next time, it's pure imagination.